Join us to this day trip to Sorrento as we taste limoncello, spot lemons everywhere, walk around the town, stare at the local fishermen and eat seafood by the sea. From the station we make our way down to the Vallone dei Mulini, which is a valley that hosts a former flour mill. It was abandoned in 1940, but looks like the owners are currently working on it. And we arrive at Piazza Tasso, or Tasso Square, which is the busy center of Sorrento. After the square we started to explore all the surrounding streets, starting from Via Cesareo. We were amazed by the ceiling of the cathedral. Be sure you don't miss it and check the opening times before you go. I thought it's gonna be a very good day here in Sorrento, but we realized that our camera has a problem. Looks like on the sensor we have a smaller spot. Um, the cleaning here is quite expensive. It's 25 euros, but we can't afford that. We have the pen tool and brush at the hotel, I think, so we will try when we are we are there. For now we will use the GoPro. So that happened, but we found a way to cheer us up. Enjoy. How is it? We are tasting some chocolate here in Sorrento. Very, very tasty. You can feel the melon, like eating it. We then saw this beautiful mosaic at the 5 star hotel La Favorita and took an Instagram shot. We 
we reach the beach and behind us you can see the Vesuv and the sea and this beach is uh, very special because the sand is uh, black because of the volcano but the water is very very clear Christine. I would like to jump in Later we headed over La Marina Grande, which is a lovely harbour with plenty of fishermen, boats and restaurants. After staying at a handful of menus, we found at the very end Soul and Fish, a restaurant that was offering fried squid for just 10 euro by the sea. Isabel is gonna try some fried calamari. Oh, sounds delicious, and the portion is huge. How is it? Perfect. Enjoy.
We love Sorrento so much, it's a very walkable and charming city. Perfect for a day trip because you can cover pretty much everything.